Amen. This is the fight of his life, holy yes, God. Yes. Amen. And we call forth your ministering angels yes, and yes, yes, yes. Yes. And we ask you to rebuke the devil. Amen. 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 Satan will not get the victory. Yes. And we know whatever the results of this election, Herschel wins. Yes. 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 Because we are more than conquerors than yes. him who loved us. Yes. And so we thank you that we can support our fellow conqueror, yes. our yes. brother, yes. our friend. We all know about October surprises in the month leading up to the midterm, and sometimes they're effective, but oftentimes they're really not. But the GOP really is seeing its chances at a Senate seat in Georgia absolutely disappear before our eyes. After Herschel Walker's son, Christian Walker, a right-wing influencer I've covered, came out and basically said that his dad was a liar, a cheater, an abuser. Family values people, he has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? And I guess this is the strategy now, a prayer circle. And we ask you to rebuke the devil. Amen. 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 Satan will not get the victory. Yes. And we know. By Satan, do they mean Walker's son? It's wild that Walker's been caught in outright lie after lie after lie after lie after lie, and yet he's literally here being cradled largely by white supporters. The optics here are insane. Religion, race, politics. The story has it all and is nothing short of a bombshell. It shows how complicit the religious right is in supporting the very ideals they claim not to stand for. I talk a lot about the rise of Christian nationalism and how it's completely divorced from many of the most important lessons of Christianity. And this Herschel Walker story is exactly why. Your opinion on where do you stand when it comes to abortion as something that's a very high state? Well, you know, I, I am a Christian and I stand for life. Mm -hmm. I stand for life and, and, and I, don't, I don't make any excuses about it. I stand for life. And people always say you got any of exceptions and I say, you know, um, because anyone that has been a, a victim of crime, you know, my heart goes out to them. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is I want to put money and adopt them programs. Right? I'm not exactly sure when this interview is from, but I think it's interesting because it signals to me that he knows something is rumbling. He carves out time to say that his heart goes out to people who are seeking abortions and then pivots to the importance of adoption. The world as we know it is rapidly changing in a post row world with purple states like Florida, Pennsylvania, and Georgia at the center of these ideological battlefields. But there's yet another point in this whole mess that's being largely ignored by the media, and that is the multi multiple accusations of domestic violence of Walker against his wife and children. Of course, abortion is and has been one of the most hot button issues in recent political memory, but we can't let these allegations of physical violence get swept behind in that conversation. Is it just so common amongst politicians that we don't care? I would say that the glossing over of that violence is devastating for women and an indictment of the standards we hold politicians to. How are we elevating these people who have credible threats of abuse against them into to positions of service? And how do these people elevating abusers call themselves Christian? These are questions, sadly, we will never get to the bottom of. The fundamental rights of women are at stake in this election, but not just when it comes to abortion. It's also about standing up against physical violence. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917.